Once upon a time, a young boy named William Shakespeare lived in the quaint town of Stratford-upon-Avon, England. He was the third of eight children born on April 23, 1564, of John Shakespeare, a successful glover and alderman, and Mary Arden, a daughter of a prosperous farmer. William showed keen interest in the world around him from a very early age. He would often wander through the fields and meadows, observing the beauty of nature and listening to the stories told by travelers passing through the town. His father's position in the community allowed him to attend a local grammar school, where he was introduced to the wonders of literature and language. As a student, William was drawn to the works of ancient writers like Ovid, Virgil, and Plutarch, which sparked his imagination and ignited a passion for storytelling. Despite his father's declining fortunes, young William's love for learning was undeterred, and he continued to study diligently, often spending hours in the library of a local aristocrat, Sir Thomas Lucy. During one of his visits to Sir Thomas Lucy's estate, William was enthralled by the performances of traveling players who entertained the noble guests with their theatrical skills. The world of drama and acting mesmerized him, and he became determined to pursue a career in the theater. At 18, William Shakespeare married Anne Hathaway, a woman eight years his senior. Their marriage was not without challenges, but they eventually welcomed three children. In the meantime, William's passion for writing and acting only grew stronger. Leaving behind his family in Stratford-upon-Avon, William set out for London, the heart of the theatrical world. There, he found work as an actor and writer for one of the prominent acting companies, Lord Chamberlain's Men. His natural writing talent and understanding of human emotions quickly earned him recognition as a gifted playwright. In 1590, William's first play, Henry VI, Part I, was performed on stage, marking the beginning of a remarkable literary career. His play soon garnered attention and praise from audiences and critics alike. The Globe Theatre, a famous establishment where many of his plays were performed, became synonymous with his name. Over the next two decades, William Shakespeare's creative genius flourished, and he wrote some of his most enduring and influential works. His tragedies, such as Hamlet, Othello, Macbeth, and King Lear, explored the complexities of human nature, the consequences of ambition, and the depths of despair. His comedies, like A Midsummer Night's Dream, Much Ado About Nothing, and Twelfth Night, offered light-hearted entertainment and witty commentary on human relationships. Shakespeare's poetic talent was equally extraordinary. His sonnets, a collection of 154 love poems, are among English literature's most outstanding achievements. They were filled with expressions of love, beauty, and the complexities of human emotions, yet the identity of the mysterious fair youth and the dark lady remained a subject of speculation. Despite his success, William Shakespeare remained humble and connected to his roots in Stratford-upon-Avon. He frequently visited his family and invested in land and property back home, securing a prosperous future for his loved ones. As the years went by, the demands of the theater business weighed heavily on him, but he continued to write prolifically. His reputation as the greatest playwright of his time spread far and wide, and his influence on the English language and literature was immeasurable. In 1613, tragedy struck when a fire broke out during a performance of one of his plays, Henry VIII, at the Globe Theatre. The theatre was reduced to ashes, but this did not deter the indomitable spirit of William Shakespeare. He worked tirelessly to rebuild the theatre alongside his fellow actors, ensuring that the show would go on. As he approached the twilight of his life, William Shakespeare returned to Stratford-upon-Avon, where he spent his remaining years in the company of his family and close friends. On April 23, 1616, he passed away on the same day he was born, leaving behind a legacy that would endure for centuries. William Shakespeare's plays and sonnets have been translated into numerous languages, and his works continue to be performed and celebrated worldwide. His ability to capture the essence of the human experience and his profound understanding of human nature has made him an eternal figure in the annals of literature. In his honor, 
Stratford-upon-Avon established the Royal Shakespeare Company, dedicated to preserving and promoting his works. The Shakespeare Birthplace Trust maintains his childhood home attracting thousands of visitors each year who come to pay tribute to the man whose words have touched the hearts of countless souls. And so, the story of William Shakespeare, the Bard of Avon, remains woven into the fabric of history, inspiring generations of writers, actors, and dreamers who continue to find solace, wisdom, and enchantment in his timeless words.